Oh, hello again, and welcome to the VK60S Fun with Amateur Radio channel. I'm going to give this camera another chance. I just thought I'd show you the uh, new mains lead. So there you go, there's the new mains lead. Put a bit of heat shrink over the end. Comes around there, goes up there. Bit of heat shrink over where it goes onto the onto the fuse holder. So that's the uh, that's the new mains lead. Um, and the other thing I wanted to show you, or I think I might have shown you in a previous video, but this input arrangement here is really quite peculiar because you've got the RF comes in here and then it goes through this little tank circuit with fixed value components. Then it goes onto the relay that switches the amplifier in and out. So if the amplifier's um, off, Um, the drive radio, the RF from the drive radio, has still got to go through this little tank circuit to get to the uh, to get to the antenna. I reckon that's a modification myself. So depending on the match, because I haven't actually fired this up, I um, I sort of put a bit of drive into it and then tuned it, and a bit more drive and then tuned it, and a bit more drive and then tuned it, and I noticed that the input impedance was changing as I was doing that. So. Um, with the full amount of drive, I haven't actually tried it without the um, uh, without the little uh, MFJ tuner. So it may be that it's not a bad match with the uh, with full power drive into it, the full 35 watts. Um, if it's uh, if it's a good match, I'll rewire it so that these components are where they're shown to be on the circuit diagram, which is. Uh, the other side of the relay. So once once the drive power is switched into the amplifier, it goes through this it goes through this tank circuit. And when uh, when the amplifier is switched off, um, with the relay at rest, the RF drive comes in, just goes straight through the relay and out the other side to the antenna, which is what I would expect to happen. Okay, well just another very quick uh, another very quick video. Hope you found that interesting. Um, there we go. I'll just show you that that arrangement there. So there's not there's not much in the way of good pictures of the underneath of these things on the uh, on the internet. So there we go. That's the FLDX 2000. Um, maybe if anyone out there's got one of these, you can let me know if that's a standard arrangement. Certainly uh, doesn't look uh, doesn't look right to me, and it's certainly not what's shown on the uh, on the circuit diagram. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, catch you next time.